All right, if you're using Arch Linux, then you probably know that you have to do a lot of things yourself. And that also includes cleaning up after your system. Because when you install something with Pac-Man, it kind of creates a little bit of a mess for you to clean up later. And that's with its package cache. So by default, whenever you install a new package with Pac-Man, it will save a copy of that into your cache folder. And when you update a package, it will also keep the old version of that package. And that can be pretty useful in case maybe something breaks in a new package and you might want to downgrade it to the previous package. That's something I had to do before. Or maybe you uninstall a package by accident and you actually want to reinstall it. Well, if you have a package cache, then you don't have to re-download it from the internet. You can save some bandwidth because you already have that package downloaded to your cache. So all you need to do is install it again. And so of course the package cache is a useful feature. But there is one drawback, and that is that Pac-Man never deletes any of the old packages that it saves. So if you're like me, and the first time you installed Arch Linux, a few months later I checked the package cache for the first time, and it was over 50 gigabytes, and I was basically wondering what happened to all the disk space on my computer. Well, if you don't clean it up over time, it will just scale to infinity and take over your entire hard drive. So you do have to clean up after it every once in a while. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can do that, how you can clean up your Pac-Man cache, and also your AUR helper cache. If you use an AUR helper like Yay or Paru, it's going to have the same issue as Pac-Man. It's never going to clean its cache, so eventually it's just going to become gigantic. And for a long time, I was just doing it manually, and so I just look at my disk space that I have remaining, and if it starts to get smaller, then I finally clear my cache. But there is a better way to do it. You can automate the whole process. So I'm going to tell you how to do all that and more in this video. First things first, let's see how big our cache actually is right now. So you can run do-sh and let's check both of our cache folders. So slash var cache pacman package is where your pacman cache will be stored. And if you're using AUR helper like Paru, it's going to be in your dot cache folder. So let's just hit enter on these and I've recently cleaned mine. So it's not going to be gigantic like it used to be. This is a pretty reasonable size in my opinion, but the command that you may have heard of before is going to be sudo pacman-sc. So if you hit enter on this, it's going to clean almost everything from your cache. It is only going to keep the installed packages. So any old versions of packages that you might have and any uninstalled packages will all be deleted. And this is a useful command, I have used it before, but there are some drawbacks using this approach and that's that what if you want to keep an old version of some of these packages? Maybe you're worried that something could break in a new update and you might have to roll it back an update or two. And so with pacman-sc, you don't really have the option here to do that. Let's just say no, I don't want to delete these for now. And there is one more option that I don't recommend you use at all, and that's dash scc. This will remove everything from your cache, and that includes the installed packages. So if you do this and then you remove a package and you want to install it again, then you're just going to have to completely download it from the internet all over again. I don't really recommend doing this. Nobody really recommends doing this. So let's just say no, no to all of these. But like I said, you might want a little bit more control over which packages you keep and which packages you don't. And you can do that with this nice utility called pack cache. And this will not be there by default. You will have to install something called pacman-contrib in order to get this and a few other tools that comes with it. But once you have this installed, you can run pack cache. And if you want a quick overview of everything it can do, you can just run dash H and see all the options. And by default, whenever you run pack cache, it will keep the last three versions of your package in the cache. So it will keep the installed version, it will keep the previous version and the version before that. So let's just see how that looks. Let's run pack cache and let's run dash D. So dash D means dry run. So we're not actually going to make any changes to our system yet. So I would recommend running this just so you see what happens. And let's run V for verbose. So it's gonna give us a little bit of information whenever we run this command. And let's say K for keep, we want to keep, let's say the last two versions. So we only wanna keep the installed version and the previous version, not the one before that. You can keep more, but in my opinion it's not really necessary, so I usually just keep the latest two. And so let's run this and we can see that these packages will be removed. 
So these are some older versions of these packages right here that we don't really need anymore. And if we actually were to go through and delete these, it would save 24 megabytes. Like I said, I recently cleaned mine already, so it's not gonna give me that many results. But of course you can change this. Maybe you only wanna keep the latest version or you can keep none of them at all with zero. But I would just recommend doing two. But if you actually wanna run this command, then you would just replace the D with an R, run that, and it will clean up this 24 megabytes right here. But you can also choose to do something a little bit different for uninstalled packages. So for uninstalled packages, maybe you don't want to keep the last two versions of it. I mean, it's uninstalled. You probably don't want it anyway. So you can just choose to keep the latest version of that. And if we run this, I've already done that, so you're not going to see anything. But if you wanted to delete them completely and not save any of those, you can run zero. And all of these commands will only clean your Pacman package cache. It will not clean your AUR package cache that is in a completely different folder. And so if we want to do that, unfortunately, it's going to be a little bit more complicated. So we can run pack cache, all of these options the same. And we can also pass in a dash C. And this option will allow you to choose the folder in which you want it to run in. So you might be thinking, okay, we can just point this at our AUR helper directory. Uh, for Paru, it's going to be in slash Paru slash clone. If it's yay, it's just going to be slash yay. So you might have to look around for where your cache is, but it's going to be something like that. And you might be thinking that you can just run it here and that will clean up all your AUR packages. But unfortunately, pack cache is not recursive. So it's not going to go in every single folder here. Let me just list out all the folders that we have here. And so if you actually want to clean here, then you're going to have to run this in every single one of these individually, which is going to take a long time that's why it's much better to write a script that will do it for you. And I've actually written a script. So let me open this up, called it pack cache dash clear. And this is gonna look like a little bit of a lot. And I'll leave a link to this in the description. But what this is doing is, first off is getting the directory of your AUR helper. So you would replace that with whatever helper you're using. And with these commands right here, we're basically printing out every single directory that is in your cache directory and it's going to pass that to pack cache so you don't have to type that all out manually. And so this script, I've set it so that if it's in the AUR cache, just remove it completely if I have already uninstalled it. That's what this RUVK0 is doing. And then it's also doing a little bit of scripting magic here to also remove the folders that it's in because by default, pack cache is not going to delete any folders in your AUR cache. And then down here, this is just saying if it's not an AUR package, if it is installed via Pac-Man, then keep the latest version just in case we want to reinstall it. That's for the uninstalled packages. And this dash Q option is just saying quiet, so it doesn't print any output. Because if we're using this as a script, if we're automating this, then we don't really care to see the output. And finally, what this last command is saying is if it is installed, then keep the latest two versions. That goes for the Pac-Man cache and also the AUR cache. So I'll leave a link to this in the description. You should just be able to copy and paste this to your scripts folder and use it like it is right now. And then of course you would just give that executable permissions, put it in your script directory, and then you can run pack cache dash clear, let it run for a second and it should clean up your entire cache. And that is already pretty good, but what if we wanna take it a step further and automate this whole process? Well, the way I like to do this is with a cron job. So I think the easiest way to implement this is just open up your cron tab. Uh, if you don't have a cron manager, then you would need to install it, of course. That's for another video, but let's just open up this with cron tab dash E. As you can see at the bottom, I have a little at weekly flag and the location of the script. So this is just saying run this script every week and that should be enough. You don't really need to run it more than that. Your cache isn't going to get that full in the meantime. So now you can just set it here and forget about it. You never need to touch it again and your system will be automatically cleared every week. That's pretty good. But some people like to go even a little bit further and make it a Pac-Man hook. So every time that you run Pac-Man and you say you update some packages or you remove a package, you can have it automatically run a script similar to this, or I guess you can run this exact script and just have it clean up after every single Pac-Man command that you give it. That seems a little bit excessive for me, but if you want to, you can do that. So I'll leave a link to a couple of scripts here in the description. And I actually based my script off of these guys, so credit where credit is due. 
But if you would want to install these scripts, then you would copy these to something like, let's go sudo edit, and it's going to be slash user share lib alpm slash hooks. And then you would just uh, create your own hooks in here. You can call them something like cache remove, cache upgrade. And so these should make sense. You can put in something like this, remove the uninstalled package folders or keep the last two installed versions. This is another script that I like, but it just did a little bit too much for me. So I rewrote it a little bit, but this also comes with a hook that you can use. Maybe you can use this and then just run my script every time. But for my use cases, a cron job is more than enough. The option is just available to you if you want. And so that's how I personally keep my Pac-Man cache from going too crazy on my system. I like to have a cache, but I don't want it to balloon to over 50 gigabytes, obviously. So if you haven't cleaned your Pac-Man cache in a while, or if you didn't even know how to clean it, like I didn't know how to clean it when I first started out, then you now know, and it's time to do a little bit of late spring cleaning on your system.